Hi, I'm Whitney from Pop Candy. How are you? Welcome to my apartment. Um, it's late Wednesday night, and I leave early tomorrow morning for Comic Con. I should be sleeping or packing, but I'm not. And you know, I have read a bunch of stories in the last few days that preview Comic Con and talk about all the cool things that are going to be there. Most of them mention like Iron Man and uh, Lost and stuff like that, like big budget movies and TV shows. And I just thought that maybe I should talk about some of the things that I'm really excited about that haven't gotten a lot of coverage because they're small or weird or whatever. So here are the top five things that I can't wait to experience at Comic-Con. Hope they happen. Number one is Danzig. Now, this is sort of a little known fact, although I mention it every year. Every year when I go to Comic-Con, I see Glenn Danzig. He's a big comic book fan. He's often sitting in a booth. People buy art from him. Not his art, other people's art. I'm always afraid to talk to him. He's one of like the random celebrities you see on the floor. And uh, this year, I've made it my personal goal to go up to him and I don't know what I'm going to say. But I'm going to say something. Danzig. It's awesome. Okay, number two, uh, the steampunk crowd. Every year, also, that gets bigger and bigger and more spectacular. These people, the steampunk punk kids, they know how to dress. They wear, like, the best pants, and they have the best guns, and I'm going to crash their party. I hope so. I think they have parties. I'm not sure. But they're great. Okay, number three. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, Tim and Eric are at Comic-Con, and some of the best stuff that happens at this convention has nothing to do with Comic-Con, and I don't even think that they plan on hitting the floor. They haven't in the past, but they have a party called Awesome Con, which I haven't made in the last, what, two years they've had it, or however many years, but I have made a hole in my schedule so I can check it out this year. They're also performing. I'm psyched. They're the kind of guys who always make the party better. Yay. Number four, the Eisner Awards. They're on Friday night. They're like the Oscars of comics. Well, that's what people say, you know. And uh, but unlike the Oscars, they're not televised, and they haven't been completely overtaken by like corporations and crazy celebrities. And also, there's plenty of booze. Super fun. Um, although people complain because it's like four and a half hours long and it's kind of tedious, but. It's the only thing at Comic-Con that's left that's all, it's seriously all about the comics. Like, every major person in comics is there. Like, all the awards are completely comics-based. It's great. It's like the one place that I can go and I know I'm going to see all my friends and have a good time. Number five? Am I already on number five? Wow, this is fast. Okay. Number five, just because I have to promote myself. Um, I'm looking forward to the Pop Candy meetup on Saturday at the Hilton, and I hope if you are going to Comic-Con that you can also be there. It's always a good time. Um, I want to meet a lot of readers and hang out, and um, okay, those are the five things I'm looking forward to. Danzig, Steampunk, Tim and Eric, the meetup, and the Eisner Awards, and oh, I've got to get some sleep, seriously, because I'm not going to get any sleep at Comic-Con, I never do. That's all I have to say. I may do more of these. Have a great time. Stay tuned for my updates. Good night.